Good morning to those people that uh, view us on Facebook Live coming from New Vision Community Church. As you can see, <coughs> I'm in a hospital bed this morning and uh, I'm being treated. Uh, I'm in isolation and I'm being treated as a precaution to the coronavirus. And uh, I just couldn't let it get me down as far as being able to share a word or so with the folks that normally follow us and, and watch us and, and maybe to some of those that are coming for the first time. Uh, well, you all know, as for, uh, as for me, I'm encouraged. Uh, I'm getting good treatment. Uh, I presented uh, to the uh, emergency room Friday afternoon because I had some abdominal pain and I had a chronic cough that was causing me abdominal pain that made me feel like my abdominal wall was being compromised. So I was like pushing a hernia back in. So I came here for that and uh, they gave me x-rays and found out that I had uh, pneumonia in both my lungs. Uh, well, uh, as a result of that, they put me on lockdown and so now, hey, how you doing? I'm in, uh, in isolation and, uh, they, uh, took some swabs and they're going to send them off to the lab and see if they come back either positive or negative for the coronavirus. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, Y'all gonna have to forgive my appearance, but hey, I'm in a hospital bed. I've been here a few days now, and I'm I'm, I'm ready to roll up out of here. But uh, I'm just gonna wait and let this thing run its course. Uh, it'll be best for me and my family and everybody else involved. Anyway, uh, want to share with you something about when we are really faced with putting our feet to our faith. I want you to know that my faith has never wavered as far as God's intended purpose for me and for New Vision Community Church. Yesterday, New Vision Community Church served about 80 families in the community with free groceries provided to needy families. And I want to thank that team for being there and handling that in my absence. They did a wonderful job. <coughs> also, uh, I, uh, what's that right there? Mine. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Also, uh, we provided uh, over 80 free boxes of food. And then uh, normally the people that are in our program, uh, they were able to benefit as well to get their normal food boxes. Uh, so, you know, we were still working. You know, the work doesn't stop just because I'm down, you know, uh, and they did a great job. I'm so proud of them. Anyway, just want you to know that I'm, I'm not fearful. Uh, I'm encouraged. Uh, I still feel blessed. And uh, I'm optimistic about the outcome of all of this. Uh, the paranoia that's based around all of this is so profound that when people hear coronavirus, they don't thinking you're testing or anything else. They just figure you got it and they'll just take it and run with it. But I'm not, uh, I haven't tested positive uh, for the coronavirus. And the thing is, if I do test positive, then, you know, we'll know what we got to do to take care of it. And, uh, I want you to know that the Lord said, he said not to let your heart be troubled. You know, so I'm not trying to worry about this. You know, uh, I'm just going to continue to be prayerful, be faithful. This may be his way of sitting me down so I can get a little rest. You know, uh, there's a million things going on in my mind, but you know, uh, we 
we're just going to do what we have to do to make sure we take care of ourselves. Uh, I believe that it's times like these that when all of the things that the Lord has poured into you all during the course of your spiritual journey, they come to play. You look back on certain things that you've overcome. You look back on certain things that have happened to you and that you had to deal with and, and you've had to put things in perspective. And sometimes you just had to stand on your faith alone. <coughs> I know that my spiritual journey has been one that has brought me to where I am right now. And I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. So I'm grateful for each and every one of you for your prayers. I want to encourage you that I believe that all is well and that it is well with my soul. I keep a praise handy in my heart. I keep a word. <clears throat> and I just continue to try to do the Lord's will even from a hospital bed. I just want you to know that I want to thank all of you for the outpouring of love and support that you've shown me and that you've shown New Vision. But we're going to be fine. We're going to be all right. And uh, I'm believing that. So I want you all to pray with me that the Lord uses this to be able to continue to spread his message about the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's take a moment. Heavenly Father God, we come before you right now, Lord, with humility in our hearts. First of all, thanking you for your many wonderful blessings. Thanking you for waking us up on a day that wasn't even promised to us. And along with that, you sprinkled in brand new mercies. Thanking you, Lord, for the wonderful things that you've done in our lives, how you've led us how you've guided us, how you've molded us, how you've shaped us, how you accepted us just as we are, and you use us as instruments of your peace. Our prayer right now, Lord, is that you continue to use us, that you continue to guide us, that you continue to bless us and enlarge our territories so that we can be a blessing to others. And Lord, I ask that you continue to use me Lord, we will be ever so mindful to give you the praise and to give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You all be blessed. The Lord bless you and keep you is my prayer.